Hello. So we're gonna replace uh, the screen of a Dell Inspiron 173721. Uh, uh, as you can see, there's a big crack in the screen, so uh, it needs to be replaced. Um, I found a new one on laptopscreen.com um, that arrived uh, just a few days uh, later. It was well packaged. So uh, first of all, we're turning off the computer, so that will take a while. Well, after turning it down, first of all, we are removing the battery because we don't want any power in the machine. So it should be. Yes. It took a while. Uh, after turning uh, getting out the battery, uh, opening it again, and we place the, our fingers between the screen, like this. And then you will feel you can remove. Yes. So put that away. And on, on the screen, you can see on the left, there are some screws here. So you are unscrew we're unscrewing these. First on the front side, the two above and uh, I think four at the bottom. In my case, all the screws look the same, but you have to make sure that all the same, uh, all the screws are the same size, because otherwise you have to put them away very gentle, so you can put back the screws in the same order. For us, it's not a big problem now. So now the screen is up. It is uh, it's not connected anymore. So you can see it can take out oh, of the actually and this laptop is very easy. I see it's still connected here, as you can see. So we can remove this. It's it's a little bit sticky. Then you can put it aside. Now. So now the screen, the actual screen is disconnected. So now we're going to remove the screw from the side. Last one on this side. Actually, the screen has come off on this side already. So now we are unscrewing the other side. So this, so this is the, the old screen. You can see the crack here. So we don't need that anymore. So if you see if this come, now this is really well connected so I have to put it uh, in like standing up maybe can put this down a bit no we just put it in like this so here we have the new screen the same connection in uh, in here so first of all I think we have to remove those bandages because otherwise we can't get them off again so we remove those first, just like okay, I think. Well, actually, let's try to let's try to hold them in when replacing this. 
Maybe I can use them to connect the screen a little bit. Like here. That. And then we are trying to screw it, screw it in again. We're putting it here and on that side. Now do the other side first, so it actually is a little bit connected to the to the laptop already. Six. That's that side. So we do the other side. So that's the screwing part. So now we're going to see how to connect this. So we put this in like here. back like it was before right so now we're going to put this again back in again move the bandages first because otherwise it won't fit I'm just placing the I'm just screwing in the top one so we can and we put in the other one as well the bandage is off Screwing in the rest. Right. Before actually uh, putting the cover back, I want to make sure that the screen is working. So, put, putting in the battery again. The other side, the way around. Right, so it should fire up right now. Well, it's looking fine. We'll be removing this, and when the laptop is still booting, we'll be putting it back in the frame. Oh. 
in now. Well, so the repair is finished, and as you can see, the screen is working properly. Crack is gone, so this is the old one. You can see the crack. Well, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but actually the uh, removing it and uh, placing in a new one is uh, is quite easy. So it's a five-minute job, and uh, it's working properly. So uh, the screen was from uh, laptopscreen.com, and uh, go have a look. Bye.